Let me tell you about a really clever innovation in, well, usability, a usability technique. It's not that often that something really clever comes along, so clever that I feel compelled, well, to stand up here and tell you about it. So, suppose I'm reading a book in an electronic book reader. We'll take Kindle as an example, but actually it doesn't matter what kind of reader you're using. They all have a similar problem. It's wonderful if you're reading a novel and you just start for page one, two, three, four, three hundred, whatever. You used to go from the beginning to the end. It's really great. It's fairly lightweight. You can carry it with you. You can read it in the dark. You can read it on the airplane. You can carry hundreds of books in a tiny little device. But what if it's a more complex story with lots of characters? It's a, it's, it's a Russian novel. Or it's a detective story of lots and lots of different characters. Or it's a science fiction story with weird character names. And it's hard to remember those names and distinguish them. Or it's a textbook where you want to refer back to something that happened. Or it's got, I read a lot of scientific papers on my Kindle. And it's, they got lots and lots and lots of abbreviations and words I've never seen before. And uh, two or three pages later, I can't remember what it means. And I want to go back. And it's really hard to go back and forth and to remember your place. That's where paper is so superior. You can just stick your thumb inside the book and flip back and forth, but your finger keeps the place. So it's really easy to go back and forth with paper. So how do you do it electronically? Up to recently, it really wasn't possible. But then Amazon has released for some of their Kindles, for some of their books, this really clever scheme which they call page flip combined with something they call x-ray. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm reading a section. The map says Homo sapiens conquers the globe, and I keep reading, and then it says, a second shock came several months later when DNA extracted from the fossilized finger from Denisova was mapped. Denisova. What was Denisova? I don't remember what Denisova was. How do I find out? Well, gee. I tap, and it says x-ray, and I tap on x-ray, and here, here are all the terms that are used. These are all the terms used in the book. Here are all the people that are mentioned in the book. You know, King Hammurabi, uh, to Adam Smith, to King Gilgamesh. So here are everything. We we'll go back to the terms, and there's Homo Denisova. In addition, if I want to read forward or backward, I touch again. And notice how the pages collapse a little bit, and it's easy to go forward. And I can even read it. It's smaller text, but I can still read it. But if I ever want to go back to where I was from, I just type on that thumbnail, and there I am, right back to where I was. I can go many, many pages forward and right back to my place, which makes it really easy to go back and forth. And in fact, it hastened to death of paper books because it used to be the case that when I was reading a complex book, I couldn't do it electronically. I had to buy the paper book. Heavy, difficult to carry. If I'm reading it and I'm halfway through, I sometimes, when going on a trip, I'd like to read it on the airplane, but I wouldn't take it with me because it was too much to carry. Now, with this new page flip and x-ray, I find it just wonderful to read, easy to go back and forth, easy to look up terms that I don't remember. And so it has really changed my reading life. I think this is brilliant. Thumbs up. Two thumbs up.